and welcome back to my channel rare anyone i'm your host rare anyone and welcome i hope you're having a fantastic day morning evening night wherever you are in this beautiful world of ours i hope you're having a wonderful and fantastic time tonight we are talking conspiracy and we are going down we are talking about david grush i hope i haven't uh, mispronounced his um his last name so we are talking about the whistleblower um who who came out on news nation and talking about he was a farmer um it i don't know why i did that he is a former um u.s air force person sorry i'm i'm really not familiar with um, my american um militaries um so sorry I, I don't mean to offend anyone on that um but yeah he's a former military guy um up there up there um he's been in a lot of task force uh, i think he did work for nasa i think or work with nasa on the uap um task force um, so he, he is up there and as someone who's really into the uh, ufo um scene uh yeah he's, he's up there so yeah um so we're talking about david uh david rush grush on the whistleblowing it's so it's going to be more of a theorizing episode and more of a um yeah a more of a theorizing mode because it's generally it sounds a, a lot like not the bob lazar story but it's, it sounds a, a little bit like bob lazar um so we'll we'll get into it we'll, we'll have a look some little we'll have a look at sides little me little where anyone will be in win one of these corners it's probably going to be this one I don't know. Let's uh, find out. You know, grab a drink. You know, tonight yeah, I've got myself a drink. I have myself a beer marae. I'm not, you know, no sponsor whatsoever. So grab yourself a drink, and uh, yeah, let's get into this case. Let's have a look, and uh, let's see. I'll see you in the slides. So here we are. We are at the Guardian. So one second. This is a few hours later. That beer, that one little can of beer, really fucked me up. I had the, the worst hiccups I have he ever had. So it's a few hours later. Um, <laughs> the worst hiccups I have ever had. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, but anyway, so this. I, I, I'll have an article up, um, but I'm not really going from the article. Um, I've listened to a lot of podcasts on David Grush, uh, his story, because me and reading do, we're not, we don't, we rarely go hand in hand. Um, so I've, I've researched and uh, listened to a lot of stuff and I've got it pretty pretty well memorized if i miss something let me know in the comments you know or if i get something wrong let me know in the comments one of the articles i've got up is is quite um um it's got some good information on it so that's uh the one i'll i'll go from or hmm, there, there was another one actually let me uh, quickly uh, do this uh da -da -da. david grush yeah so so David Grush is a former United States Air Force officer, former intelligence officer. Um, he's is is a come out in, on uh, as a UFO whistleblower. Um, he was see he's done he's done quite his his credentials are fucking you know verified he's he's verified his employers have verified him people in in the agencies have verified him 
and is the US Air Force. I'm pretty sure he's a, a, a veteran of the Afghan war. Um, um, is very young for someone, but uh, you know. But yeah, so he was uh, he was in the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency or NGA, a National Re- oh, Reconnaissance Officer (NRO) and uh, known for USO UFO whistleblower. So again, David Charles Grush, eighty-seven. So you know. Uh, I know they had the age there, so 36. <laughs> oh dear. So, uh, which is, uh, this is one. So, this title made me laugh. It made me laugh. I won't stay on this one. But Monday Briefing Why New Claims About UFOs Have, have Experts Wondering If Life Truly Is Out There. It caught my eye. Uh, it just, I guess it reminded me of the X-Files. I, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, uh, today's new letter, former US officials said the, the country has intact alien vehicles and, um, and changing attitudes being some are taking the idea more seriously, which is a good thing. In my eyes, this is one I'm going to have up. So you guys can read it at your, if you know, I get my big fat head out of the way, you guys can read it. It's H-I-T-C, um, it's from, oh, I'm sorry, I will butcher your name. I will not try and do that. So, let me move me over, over to the side. Um, so, David Grush has come out to News Nation. Old, it, not News Nation. He's came out to a couple of reporters, um, and I can't remember where he he, uh, um, he came out to a couple of reporters. If I grab my phone, I might be able to actually tell you the uh, reporters, which I'm... Let me grab my phone. Um, This is... uh, You know, I do apologise. Which... uh, Maybe shouldn't have done that. Uh, No, it it came... His story was to a couple of reporters... um, I don't, I can't see him, him here. Um, no. No, I can't, I can't see it. Um, the couple of reporters who we came to, um, who are top in their fields, um, one, one of the guys had won a port surprise um, for his bus bombings of the World Trade Center. Um, so these guys are legit. And uh, they they broke the story. Uh, none of the big media, uh, mainstream media, wanted to break this story. They broke this story because um, they wanted to get David's story out there. Um, but not only that, they wanted to get it out there to sort of protect or give him another layer layer of protection because he he claimed he was getting weird phone calls, weird, um, you know, things, you know, weird, you know, knocks on doors. Well, I don't think knocks on doors, but weird phone calls, weird emails, all that stuff. So it was out there. Now... Is out there, and the government. You're thinking, why is he out there? Why aren't the government silencing him? Why aren't they? That's what I wondered. But now knowing, you know, a little bit more, which I probably would have seen, um, is that he's protected under the Whistleblower Act. Now I ain't gonna get that act right, um, but there is a Whistleblower 
Act, a UAP whistleblower act, protecting people who come out, you know, this. So another thing why he has come out and it seems like he's sort of, they're not really doing anything. I have a, I have an idea, my own idea. I've not heard this from anyone else. That, um, so it's coming out and no one seems to be doing anything. The governments are doing anything because of cat, because he hasn't physically, so like the Bob Lazar stuff, he hasn't physically given anything. He's, he's basically word of mouth. So he's, he's heard a story from a trusted colleague. He's seen, he's maybe seen some things written down, um, you know, um, but he's gone through the proper the proper channels. He hasn't rushed to get this story out. He's gone through the proper channels. He's got the AOK from the Pentagon, I'm guessing. Um, I've got a weird nose thing. Uh, so, yeah, he's gone through the proper channels. He's, um, you know, he's got the... He's got the signed approval from his superiors. He's, he's not taking anything and he's not saying anything that can incriminate him and the government. So in their eyes, he's done fuck all, basically. A bit of word of mouth, a bit of, um, yeah, a bit, a bit of word of mouth. Um, from trusted colleagues, and he, he has said... In the interview with David, um, not David Ross Colfart, yeah, and with with that interview, um, he says we have vehicles of where where did I say we have vehicles? Oh, I did say it was it in this article? Yeah, we have vehicles of non-human origin technical vehicles non-human origin technical vehicles uh that's a great uh, that's great i love that um so and and he, he also said the two reporters he never they never asked about the bodies they just asked about the ships um about the technology and that's what he would he was talking, um, so I found that very interesting. That um, yes, he 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 was start, He started to get panicky, you know, weird phone calls, weird emails. Um, so that's why the rush to get the story out. The the two reporters were saying no big media, um, mainstream media wanted to touch this, or didn't think it was real enough to touch it. Um, so. They've, they've run with it. Um, they've put it where they can put it. Um, and uh, it's it's all over It's all over news. Like with the Las Vegas, these two, the Las Vegas, which I'll, I will pop in the description, my uh, Las Vegas video, I will pop in the description, my Las Vegas UFO slash alien um, is um, sort of around about very similar times. Well, no, sorry. The alien, the Las Vegas uh, UFO slash alien sighting happened a month prior um, to recording of that vi video. Um, so, yeah. Why is that bloody ad playing? Don't play. Um, so, yeah. Is, um, I've lost myself now because that bloody advert. Bloody adverts. Do your editing. Um, yeah, so we're both. A lot of UFO news is starting to drop. It's trickling out. Um, this helps with David. Um, do I think he's is hundred percent? No. I I I I round it off to eighty ninety percent that I believe in him. Um, like I said, he 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 wasn't the one sort of there. Um, he he said that. Um, a UAP task force wasn't allowed to go visit somewhere because I can't I can't quite remember, but they wasn't allowed uh, the clearance to go. 
um, to a site. Um, it's also interesting to say that, like why was with the Bob Lazar? He, I don't, I can't remember him saying that it was um, excavated, but you know, with ships that have crashed, been found, um, been shot down. You know, ships that are just flying, spaceships that are flying, ships that are coming up from water. You know that they're interested in and maybe have some. And he also said that um, he claims that you know with crashed ships, planes, with anything, you, you're going to find dead pilots and passengers, and th- that's what they have. So the the two reporters never focused on the the bodies; they were just more interested in the ship, um, just because. Again, he never touched, he never saw, he never touched, he only heard. Um, So that, yeah, it could be Chinese whispers. Um, So it's one of them. You know, you say it to someone and then they say it to another person and add something else. Um, So could it be that? Of course it could be that. Um, But I I still give him the benefit of the doubt and I 100%, I 80 to 90% believe him. You should never, you know, I think Nick, Nick Pope says, you never put your eggs in in one basket. You know, you don't, don't, oh, don't wholeheartedly believe in someone. You just, you know, be skeptical, um, spectacle. Um, so, so the fearing, because I can't quite find the hour interview and apparently this interview with um, Ross Coulthard was like over seven hours. And he like again he says that we have aliens, we have their bodies or maybe aliens that survived. We have their ships, spaceships either found and dug up or, you know, crashed. So my thoughts on why the main this could be a two part by the way, my thoughts why the um, the mainstream media are picking this up. I think they're being told by their superiors, do not pick this up. You know, if you pick this up, you will get less funding. Why is it bloody adverts? Stop playing. Um, you will You will get less funding, so don't pick this up. All, all it could be that they're not bothered because this has come out and no one's talking about well not not a lot of people talking about it people are talking about it but not not as as much as I would hope and that that's another another reason um it's just you know you know like the Ross Coulthard and them two journalists um that I can't think of their names um that reporting on this um you know the independent news so like your, your news nations or your, the hill who, who really should be um concentrating on this i would love to see an interview with um, david and joe rogan i hope that happens um that will be a good conversation now i think i probably missed a lot I think this will be a part two it because I think I've missed a lot. Um, so I'm going to get onto my theorizing side of this uh, video, which I very much love. Um, so let's go on the potential of the ex- excavated, the dug up ships. So Bob Lazar has said the, the very same thing. So, but he didn't go into much detail and I can't find much detail of excavated ships. So, you know, that is, it just boggles my mind. Why, you know, excavated ships. So these aliens have potentially been flying around for thousands of years, but, what another thought of mine, um, why in the day is, could these excavated ships be from a previous civilization that was on Earth? 
I know um, Graham Hancock. Um, Graham Hancock? I'm pretty sure it's Graham Hancock with his um, younger Dryerson. You know, his, uh, his previous civilizations um, could there have been a, a highly advanced um, um, civilization before us that got went extinct? You know, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Um, the evidence is is coming more and more, you know, possible. Now, we've got to the point in our life that we are using cars, we are using planes, you know, all that, you know, plane, spaceships, rockets, you know, weapons of mass destruction, um, plastic. We use a hell of a lot of plastic. Plastic lasts for thousands of years. Um, now, could a previous civilization got to ad- how advanced we are and not use plastic? Maybe use um, biodegradable um, hemp. Uh, I think hemp do a hemp sort of um, like plastic, what biodegrades. Um, could they have gone down that route? Um, yeah. Um, that's that, that thought just popped didn't just pop into my head. I've had that thought all day and I would love to explore that, that route a little bit more. And, but I think that's when I get into uh, reviewing Graham Hancock's um, Netflix series that will get into that. Um, so could we have crashed aliens? Yes. Um, and you're probably thinking to yourself, if these aliens are visiting us, they're that advanced are coming from like, Thousands of light years ahead, and they're that that advanced. Yes. So, shouldn't they know what our Earth is like? Possibly, yes. But you know, there's there's stuff that you know comes out of the blue, like a lightning storm, an earthquake, a volcano eruption, hell, a dinosaur. You know, you know, if we're talking about the one ex- excavated, you know, an a aeroplane, a rocket, you know, um, a weird satellite. That's because um, um, we 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 do have we do have a an orbiting junk. Could it be something like that? Yes. So that's maybe why they crashed. There's no amount of planning. You can plan, plan, plan. But real, real world, um, um, I can't think of the word, real world um, situations, you can't plan for sometimes. You, you just can't. Um, um, you know, everything, it, not everything's um, uh, unpredictable. You know, weather, you can generally predict the weather. Um, lightning storms can you can you really predict a lightning storm can you really predict a lightning a lightning strike is going to hit this this area and it's going to hit there now at this time no we're not that advanced at the minute um i don't think we'll ever be that advanced but there's there's also lightning like uh, ball lightning you know we we have very little understanding of ball lightning at the minute so it could it, it could be a whole host of things why these alien ships crashed. It could be drunk pilots, drunken alien pilots that are, you know have partaken in a few of our beverages, uh, maybe taken you know some taken someone for a good old probing, and uh, you know a bit of moonshining and uh, you know, had a jolly good old time. Uh, took their took the uh, the old prober um, the old probe. Uh, back to where they found him or him or her and uh you know drunk a little bit more of that moonshine and it's hit just right it's hit just right gone up and you know wobble wobble crash <laughs> could that yes <laughs> now they're coming all that way i don't think they'll probably do that but who knows there could be an alien race out there that that is just as fucking fucked up as we are so yes Yes, there probably is. Um, could there be squabbling um, UFO uh, alien factors? Yes. Now, I, I can't remember what time I've got. 
So there is going to be a part two. Part de. All right. So hold hold on to your buckets as a as a YouTuber I follow. Um Drunk Free PO, he's a hell of a follow. Awesome guy. He is an incredible human being. Please follow him. Please subscribe to Drunk Free PO. So hold on to your buckets for part two. Let's go to Big Rare Eddie One. He's bigger than me, he's better than me, he's everything I want to be. And I will get there because I'll be there in a minute. All right. So see you on the flip side. So what are your thoughts on a David Grush? Is he 100% real? Is he a crackpot? Is he, he, he definitely, you know, his history of being the armed forces in the RAF, uh, RAF, sorry, the, the, uh, oh, what is the American Air Force? Uh, um, in the yeah, you know, the American um Air Force, um yeah, you know, working for a UAP task force. What are your thoughts on that? Is it do you Yeah, you know, not his job <laughs> history. I mean, what are your thoughts on him whistle blowing? Do you think this it'd be interesting to see, you know, in a month's time where where he is. Uh, is he releasing a book, um, a, a TV show? Uh, you know, is he doing more podcasts? More, um, I would, I would love to see him on Joe Rogan. I would. Um, I don't think he's 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 done it yet, but I would love to see him on Joe Rogan because Joe will just just hammer. But he'll be fair. He'll, he will be fair. But he will he will I I'm. He will ask the right questions. I'm not not saying um, um, the guy who interviewed and didn't, but Joe will. I don't know. I think it'll be a hundred percent better if that ever is ever the case. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. I again, I'm going to give him a benefit of the doubt because maybe it's because I just want to believe so much. But I. I his, his story sounds very familiar. It sounds, you know, um, like uh, Bob Lazar. Um, so, yeah. Fucking. I hope you didn't hear that, but there's loud cars, um, exhausts. Um, and anyway, that's that's for, for you know, another time. Um, it sounds a little bit like Bob Lazar. I say a little bit like Bob Lazar. It it sounds it sounds like you've heard it. I've heard it before. I oh, I've heard this before. Oh, you know, because we have basically. Um, I do believe the governments of the world um, are are hiding the truth from us. Um, whether whether they've caught. Um, dug up, found, you know, ships, alien bodies. That's I, I, I believe we are we are not alone. Um, but have they been here? I think so. Um, I still would love the proof. Um, but I do believe the governments already know. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Let me know. Ask me anything. Let me know uh, if there's anything you want me to look into next, uh, conspiracy wise. Um, you know, ghosts, cryptids, aliens, more UFO stuff. I love UFO stuff, so more the more the better. You know, but conspiracies. You know, yeah. Um, you know, um, I had a conspiracy in my head then. Um, 9 11, you know. Um, one, I, I don't think there's much out there, but it's a, it's a, a Bush Senior's funeral where a lot of the important people, um, like the Clinton, Hillary Clinton, um, I think, um, Jed Bush. Or maybe uh, George Bush's wife, um, or 
there was a couple of other people, but they all opened up their their little booklet. I can't think what it's called. Um, someone let me know in the, in the comments. Uh, but they opened, and there seems to be an envelope in there. It didn't look like Obama had one, um, but I would love to know more about this because the look on Jed Bush's face. It's yeah. It says so much more than what it could actually be. It could, it could be a little note. Sorry, oh, there's sorry. There's no. There's got. There's not going to be any uh, raspberry ice cream. At, you know, at the the wake. You know, it could. It could be as daft as that. But Jed, dead Jed Bush, his face says so much more. It says the look on it looked fucking terrified you know of shit something's about to hit the fan what are we gonna do that's what it looked like to me uh, but we haven't seen i haven't seen anything i want to look into that and i will look into that but if there's any other conspiracy you want to have me to look in let me know in the comments i would love it um yeah but other than that a little blurb i'm gonna sort of try and put these in in like different spots um so i'm trying to get 100 subscribers that's a little goal i set for myself for the year i think it's a, a, a legitimate goal i can think i can reach um we hope i know i can um so i would love to reach it and smash it obvious obviously um but yeah i think it's a a, a real goal i can reach and yeah so we are help i know i can um so if you've if you've enjoyed this uh, video, please leave me a like and please um, leave me a subs uh, subscribe if you you know think I'm worthy. Um, if you haven't liked this, I thank you anyway for for watching till this point, uh, like and, and giving me a view. Um, it really does help. Um, but yeah, I've been rare Eddie One and.